Welcome back, G. Asshole, me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary, or... Or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor. Look out! Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. Oh, Daddy. And you're the famous getaway oh, driver? Shit. My back's bad enough as it is. Here we are. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. wrong house this guy isn't our guy okay 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 you sure you don't silence him just to make sure if we're silencing someone we're silencing the right someone get me another address hey you want a coffee some water oh turns out that was the wrong azerbaijani we need a new address from mr k choose your instrument and go to where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? Oh, shit. Uh, Come on, do your patriotic duty. Fine. I, I don't know what this is about! You, you, you can't! No, 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 no! Not the wrench! The breaker! Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his whole, whole theater. He lives in Chumash, right in the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> so how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. Now, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of them. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest, and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. <laughs> you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than we needed to be. 
Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute... He thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not... Well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. And you fuck. Watch it! All right, guys. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him to up. No, please. Sparky, Sparky! I don't need to talk stuff! I am ready to talk! <laughs> don't zap me! Come on! Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor! Show our contestant what he's won today! Oh, okay. Wait, 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 This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. Oh! Don't do it! The wolf! It's all in your head, Ferdinand! Don't worry. Let's get him upright. <coughs> I thought I was dead. <coughs> the government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 please, no, 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 he's got beer. Oh, he's got beer? He's got bushy beer. Uh-huh, I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah, I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. We're back in, give me some eyes. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. 
Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. He's a... he's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Chim maybe one more time? Just to be sure. Oh, please, no. Huh? I told you, he, he smokes. That's all I know. Now, if you open real wide, I might be able to just reach right... Out she comes! <laughs> They're all root. They just keep going down. Well, that's what happens when you put the body through the ringer. Wakey, wakey! The light. Let me go through it. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. <laughs> Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. What the hell? That was the guy. I got it. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've... Got him. It's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball <sighs> game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's the sport. <sighs> hey. Six, six, eight. <coughs> let's go, come on. Five Five six, now, me too. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Yeah. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Ow. Fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. <laughs>